Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue back at you again. How's everybody doing today on this Monday morning after Easter Sunday? Hey, so if you guys see me on uh, Mark's Draft show, if y'all liked it, I loved it. It was awesome. It was something different, something refreshing for us to do. Um, you guys are going to see more of that come, come draft time, especially when we go down to Texas for the draft. It's going to be off the chain, y'all. Just just look out for all the stuff that we, we got coming up. Also, too, uh, I'm th don't quote me on this. I'm thinking about doing one more mock draft before the draft because, like I said, every everything changes every day. Teams are acquiring new free agents. Um, teams are trying to trade up, trade down. Uh, word is right now that the Buffalo Bills are trying to slide up in the draft to get a quarterback, which is good for us because the Mortys, like I said before, more of these quarterbacks come off the shelf is more players for us to get. We need linebacker depth. We need defensive tackle. We need safety. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get it, y'all. I'm excited. I hope y'all excited because I know I am. Um, also, too, I wanted to say, so where it is, Cowboys are looking to bring in free agent Coney Ely from the New York Jets. And you guys probably know him from... His time with the Panthers. Uh, Coney Ely, defensive end and outside linebacker, depending on if you're running a 3 4 4 3. For us, he would most likely be a linebacker because he could play in coverage and he can also put his hand on the ground to rush the passer. So, either way, that's that's a good guy that they're, they're bringing in. So, he was with the Jets last year. So, last year he had, um, he played 15 games, he had like four starts. I'm sorry, he had one sack, he had 14 total tackles, and nine passes defense. Mm, it's okay. But in this scheme with the guys that we have around him, Coney Ely would definitely be a good uh, pickup for this team if we could get him in free agency. Like I said, he's coming to Dallas this week. I don't know what day. I don't know if it's today, tomorrow, the next day. But he's supposed to be coming to visit the Cowboys this week. Also, the Jets are... Thinking about trying to re-sign him, but if he comes to Dallas first, you can go ahead and believe, best believe, the Cowboys are going to do what they can to sign him. I think based off of the fact that they tried to get him last year when New England, um, when New England, when when New England released him um, after last year and then before the Jets picked him up, um, he was definitely on the Cowboys' radar, but we couldn't get to him fast enough. But they got their opportunity now, so I don't think they're going to squander that. You see, they already got Alan Hearns and some other guys on the team now, too. So, like I said, they 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 making some, some moves here. So, we already got Joe Thomas, so we pick him up. Now, all we need to do is get a uh, a young guy in the draft, and we'll be good. What y'all want? Rashawn Evans? Roquan? I mean, it's a couple linebackers on, 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 on tap that we can get. So, like I said, I'm excited about these moves that we're making, Cowboys. Then pulled their head out the sand finally, and they joined the free agency pool. So, like I said, um, it's good that they get these second and third tier guys because, like I said before, these guys are here for depth. You got to build your team through the draft. When you get guys in free agency, they're to plug holes. They're quick fixes. They're not for the long term. That's why you don't always jump and get the highest free agent out there see people confuse that because they want a household name on a team like yeah we got such and such such and such yeah okay but that person may not mesh well with your team so you don't know what's what the issue is with that like we don't know the rams got all these guys who who knows if indomagon zoo is sue is gonna be good for the rams we don't know but i mean for what, whatever reason I mean, different teams got their guys that they think that they can fit the, the scheme. I like what the Cowboys are doing right now, getting these guys. And I don't think it's going to be like last year where we had these guys and they didn't work out. I think some of these guys are going to work out, if not all of them. I really hope that all of them can can work out. So we'll see what happens. But um, at the end of the day, uh, Coney Ely's coming to visit. So hopefully we get to sign him. Um, thanks again for all my subscribers. Y'all got to get back to work. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, follow your boy. Um, it's, <laughs> the best is yet to come. Until next time, y'all have a great day.